This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, I want my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in all right. I'll never stop wishing that your journey through this world be touched by kindness, inspired by wisdom, grace with understanding, and kept safe from all harm. Wishing you not just happiness. Yes, listen to me good. I'm wishing you not just happiness, but pure joy, not just wealth, but heaven's treasure. Not just silence, but God's peace. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'm a tafa. Happy Sabbath. Every day above ground is a blessing. People are only fatigue and go under the news, you know. So I'm not need enough to worry. I don't know one to the on this platform. I don't get ball to ball coming to Everything me ever tell you no. Me all jump on the plane this morning. Yes, me I jump on all the plane and go over Trinidad. Cause Jamaica can get slapped over there. But before I reach right this up, me can start the new summer so the people them know exactly what I'm going. Two white men who robbed more than two hundred thousand from a man at gunpoint on Thursday were injured when the victim used his car to hit them off their motorbike. Hold on a minute there. So you could reverse and reverse over them jelly. Them jelly should have splash out. Me I be honest with you know. I drama which took place in Newton St. Catherine, resulting in the traffic pileup for several hours. Head of the St. Catherine North, yes, people, head of the St. Catherine North, police superintendent, oh, no, no, worry, the our chambers, I'm not really know all the power over this one, told us that the men escaped after the incident. Yes, see, men know them in the escape. All they needed was to do. Reverse over them jelly. Me I just come and me tell yourself watching the surrounding. But to the now listen to me. Listen to this one and all my people. Police at about 1.30 p.m. The man left the bank in Uaton when he was trailed home by two men on a motorbike. The bike was reported to pull and gun held the man up at his gate and robbed him of the cash. The police said the man rode off unaware that their victim was trailing them in his motor car. Upon reaching the Uaton main road, the motorist hit the man from the motorcycle. Injuring them, the frightened robbers hesitantly hopped away from the scene, leaving the bikes behind. However, they did manage to take the money and their weapon. Police who responded to the incident conducted a search of the area, but the men were not found. The motorcycle were seized. Right now, at St. Elizabeth, I'm a catcher now, people. The St. Elizabeth police are searching for two gunmen who raped and robbed two bartenders in Lakovia on Tuesday night. The poor and the woman were at a bar when they were pounced upon by the men. The police said the men were armed with AK-47 rifle and a 9mm pistol. The men stole the woman's cell phone along with cash and other items. And them take them look womanly stuff too. Nobody feel like say. But now nah, I tell the people them say. Them look nasty rubber boy. Yeah. Take the woman them look womanly stuff. You know look thing when them use when them sister forward. Yes. Them look thing them take. And them can't go and give them look carotches of them yard. Me tell you, you know. All I want to forget to slap away. So the police come by the scene and carry them go to the hospital. You understand? They were treated and released. But guess what? Still don't know if the man got disease yet, but don't worry yourself. Just continue doing some testing. I hope we'll not catch up the family clams or spoil them. A Jamaican man was shot on Thursday night in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, people. Right up at TNT. He had been identified as 28-year-old Akeem Thompson. The police said that Thompson was killed after leaving a friend's house in Diego Martin shortly after 8 o'clock. He was found by passerby. Only like a phone for Jamaican authority. Listen to this now. Mr. Thompson was pronounced dead at the scene. Me tell you something, can't pronounce dead people at the scene. But me don't know why you don't feel like you need to carry them hospital. Walk him, Mr. Pronounce upon the road. Say what I said, and I mean what I said. I don't know, me not take him up. Me always tell him to do that. But you don't know why I do it. You understand? I don't know why. So me depend on a little cruise ship at to St. Anne's now. Yes, people, me not too like Trinidad. So me never plan for turn over the land. So me can't give you the news coming out of St. Anne's. A teenager who pleaded guilty to illegal pushing a firearm and ammunition was on Friday sentenced to three years and two months in prison when he appeared before the St. Anne's Circuit Court. Nicholas McNeem, 18 who is from Droxall Country Club in St. Anne was sentenced to three years and two months on one count of illegal possession of firearm and two years each on two counts of illegal possession of ammo. 
High Court Judge Justice Andrea Collins ordered the sentence to run concurrently. McNeem was arrested following an operation along Newling Street in OTS on February 5th of this year. I slap on the first slap on this little boy. Yeah, be honest, I don't know. Police report at about 4.45 p.m. An operation was conducted during which an Axio motor car in which McNeem and another male teen was traveling was stopped and searched. A 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 15 9mm rounds of ammo was found. A police report said at the time, it is understood that a subsequent search was conducted at McNeem's home, which resulted in the seizure of more ammo. Yes, this is a boy, yeah. did a plan to become one real, real, real gang leader. I slap the police, them should have slapped him when them get the chance. McNeem's, his mother and other team were subsequently arrested and charged. You shall however offer no evidence against the convict's mother and the other team, result in them being freed. I understand why I feel like you need for free. Everybody saw, and everybody's supposed to get free. You know? Some people need to get slapped. You know? Every single day, I come and I tell you some people need to get slapped. Sent on the South Police sees one Berta 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 12 9mm rounds of ammo on Bowens Road, Kingston 13 on Thursday, October 27th. Report from the Hunts Bay Police. Jesus, being that the police station there. Eh? Nobody don't like no police thing like that. As at about 3 a.m., lawmen found an illegal firearm and ammo buried in a yard. Hold on a minute. Only just I tell me, say, only just leave the government work. Yes, 3 a.m. Go and go and dig up yard and find gun. No, man. Try get the people them, them reward. Try get the people them, them reward. Do not to lie. One thing with the police, them, they are always tell you this crap, yeah. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. Yes, you know, you are not doing a thing. But anyway, people, they go out of St. Thomas because the whole thing is going out of St. Thomas. So who do not know about? And I have to know some of what I want. People, I want to listen to me and listen to me good now because after me left Bath, me go out of St. Foot. Three men were taken into custody by the St. Thomas police on Monday after it's alleged that they were collaborating with the suspect in the abduction of two girls in Bath has been released. It's not right, that's it, stop on me, people. I want to listen. According to the report, the men admit knowing the suspect yes they know him before the abduction but has not been in contact with him since bird of a feather flock together what do you think about that eh you don't answer me what do you think about that the police are theorized that the men were providing support to the suspect and aiding in his ability to evade his capture I can tell you something when you hear the people them talk and the people them say I say go me I work with the people them the St. Thomas police has been trying to find Brian since the first abduction October 14th. You were working people in the area. That is why Ono can't find him. You understand? We are going to go see foot now, people, because alone gunshot and beat down a see foot. Night in, night out. But things like that now making news, people. But you know no need for it. Because once me get it, I can con 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 confirm it. Ono get in the news. See it now, people. Last night, Herbert get shot in his head. Herbert, the hospital, no back of him life. Guess where Herbert come from? Right out of see foot. So do they really feel like they shot the saga bus every night so up in a year and somebody now get shot? Who oh, no, can not stay there? Me ever keep on the post and come down there back of film life as soon as me get more information. Maybe tell you no. I may have a bad picture, but not the picture when him get shot. No, some regular little picture. Him. So just in case in Japan, don't need to worry. Have a nice little picture for your thumbnail. Boy, people from me tell me, say me a picture, but me tell you not down Kirk. It's like a string of attack. Like the man them say, hold well, on them my view. Since you come back around, me come make the news again. We don't know where them run there fight over you know, people. But me can go to the news. And guess where really I go on now? Some only for strange man in the place. And the people them now know the strange man. And the strange man them start fire fight people, let me know. Cause it's Joshy there. Yes, two man come in at Joshy shop, but them buy bun. Joshy saved by him fridge. And Joshy... Fridge save him. After Joshy go song, dip figure for the bun. Figure them because the boy them never want no cheese. I'm alone them because them never have no money. Broke like buckle. You understand? And Joshy go song, take up but Joshy has but I don't know them a boy. Yeah. A gun that Joshy look up in a paper. And loan pepper grains are fly out tight. But none of the pepper grains them look at Joshy still. Because Joshy have one big fridge in him shop. He just run guy right behind it. People if you don't believe me, look in the comment section. No, I don't make up a story. I tell you, you know. You see me come around and I can't tell you what I want. I have news and I have company news and I have going all of the news. And I can tell you something. Yes, top road man, they might talk, Joshy. Is it top road man, they might talk, Joshy? You know, so we have to talk it straight and plain. And we talk it down the middle. We talk it game fair, people. We not pick no side. You understand? We are giving the people them the news and make the people them know what I want. But make I tell you something. Everybody are a coach, shooter, so they don't know always. Oh, you understand, people? So, 
Be careful not look a taxi them and not take. Be careful on the stand up side of not stand up side up on the road. Bag a lighter in and the eagle is on the road. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Can't say me never tell them to cut it out. And with all this crime and violence and go on the street, I, the only thing sleepy can come, come say. I think we need a state of emergency. Here, we look forward to concluding the bill and uh, while the work continues from the security force in all the volatile communities and the security force server will have the opportunity to examine again the status in these communities and if they so choose to make recommendations to the government. There clearly, if this, what is happening continues, there may be instances where we need that kind of call. And that is why the amendment is brought. However, it was necessary to ensure the bill that all legislation are in keeping with our constitution. Normal policing will not be able to deal with the level of homicide at the rate at which you are pursuing. If you were to take the situation as existing in St. James at the time, you'd maybe need the entire police force to deal with 235 homicides in any one time. If you take and the statistics will bear that out. The man in human power would need a police force three times the size we're operating on. The police had in custody, on detention, roughly 240 individuals. 240. Not a thousand, not 500, 240. Of which 50% were charged before the others who have been released are identified and known gangsters. Several migrated immediately, several have been shot in the gang war and some have been returned to incarceration because of their own. At this point, there's enough evidence to lock them up. The police supported by the army can, in fact, intercept the killers. That's the principal purpose of the bill. We can use intelligence under the state of murder to detain someone. And therefore, you can stop a killer from his activities.